Okay, so I had some tech technical issues, so I'm going to attempt again. I'm reading with Peter, Petrus, um, Thomas uh, Radicic, also known as Peter Steele. I think I pronounced his last name closely uh, to how it's supposed to be pronounced in Polish. But anyway, he was the front man for a number of different uh, few bands. Um, what was it? Carnivore, and then Repulsion, I think, and then Typo Negative. Um, and he, he, just to get going, just so I can kind of dial in him, uh, he started learning guitar at 12. His birthday is the, um, I believe, the 4th of January. My daughter's, one of my kids is the um, ninth. So I sometimes I'm like, wait a minute, what, what number, you know, is that? Because I, I don't want to mix it up with my child's birthday. <laughs> it's very close. So his birthday was the 4th of January, 1962. Um, he had a lot of, if you look at his chart, which you can do, and I'll, I'll, put, a, I'll put a link in the description box for you to check it out. It's very interesting um, astrological birth chart. I wish and I want to learn more about astrology, but um, you can take a look at it. He had a lot of planets in Capricorn, including of course his son, but I believe that his moon was in Sagittarius? Quick look. Yeah, so, yeah, his son was in Capricorn. Yeah, it was, his, his moon was in Sagittarius, Mercury in Capricorn, Venus in Capricorn, Mars in Capricorn, yeah, um, Jupiter in Aquarius, Saturn in Aquarius, his Uranus was in Virgo, Neptune in Scorpio, Pluto in Virgo, Chiron in Pisces, Lilith in Virgo, True Node Leo. His ascendant, oh, this makes so much sense, a Scorpio, and his midheaven was Leo. Wowzy. Yeah, I'm glad that I went ahead and shared that with you guys. So again, very interesting, very interesting chart. And he was born in Red Hook, New York area there. Grew up in Brooklyn, the uh, Brighton Beach, and what was the other place? Been something with a B um, area. So around around that part of Brooklyn. And at the time of his passing, he was in Pennsylvania uh, because he would had been there to apparently receive. Uh, rehabilitation, you know, treatment for substance. But he was going to be coming back to get together with the guys from his band, Typo, and work on new music. And he had, was really looking forward to doing that. And unfortunately, despite what it says that he died of an aortic aneurysm, it was apparently months later that his family found out he actually died of sepsis due to diverticulitis that went untreated. Now there's some questions there about, I, I heard that his family had some questions about the people that were supposed to be 
um, around him at that time. He was wanting to uh, leave Pennsylvania. I don't think he much liked it there. Wasn't happy there from the feeling I got. And unfortunately, he passed. Why somebody wasn't checking in on him, especially when he's there, uh, and getting him to care is weird to me, is really negligent. So firstly, I, I want to ask, was there any um, negligence by those that were supposed to be helping him with his, whoever was supposed to be helping him with his addiction care? Um, I'd like to know, was there negligence? I'm trying to see if Peter can communicate with me through my guides and mentors and, and his own, himself. So let's allow Peter to have a voice. And I, please, I ask for clarity for me to be able to read accurately and clearly on Peter and what Peter wants to convey. Firstly, I'm starting by asking him, was there some issue with that people should have been looking after, checking in on him or something? It just doesn't feel right. So let's take a look and see what Peter, or Petrus, I prefer to say Petrus, I think it's beautiful. But Latvians also, um, male names will have the S on the end, like my grandfather. It, it, anglicized, his name would be John, but uh, the Latvian would be Janus. So, Petrus I, is very, is just seems very natural for me to say. Let's see what he wants to share. Okay, Peter. What can you tell us about your passing? Was there somebody that should have been, you know, keeping tabs on you? that Because you were there for treatment. I don't understand why you seem to have been neglected or something. Am I wrong? Okay, I'm using the Star Tarot. Let's see what Peter has to say. And I thank him for working with me. And I beg his patience. <laughs> okay. First card we're getting is a Queen of Swords. Okay? And the Devil. Now, I feel like this is, you know, connecting to why he was there for treatment. There may have been a female that was overseeing that, this Queen of Swords. And it was for the issue of substance abuse. So he's showing, and I'm going to keep watching that card because this can be corruption as well. And maybe this is on someone's part. Let's just keep looking here. The Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. There's a feeling of oppression here. Of course, when you're dealing with trying to treat addiction, 
it's hard. But this is also him having a lot of pressure, a lot of responsibilities on his shoulders um, to do with, I think, also his stress on his health with that Knight of, of, of Pentacles. And I feel like there was a duration of, of a long period of this pressure, this stress that's overwhelming. And it's like anxiety. It's, it's one's energy. So I feel like the, the bipolar issue was aggravated, mental health issues would be aggravated. Okay. And this, this Knight of Pentacles, like I said, it deals with a period of time that one does something every day, that, you know, dealing with something uh, very structured. So I think this is him talking about going in to get the care. Look at that. I'm already getting two fours in the second row. Let's see what else I'm going to pick up with him. Okay. Okay, he's talking about that there were people definitely in his environment that were not good for him to be around. And it could have been also some of the other people that, I don't know, that may have been in the environment to receive treatment as well. Um, there's a feeling here that he feels like he wants to make there's a feeling here maybe also of greed. I've got to say it. Falling under this queen of swords. I don't know if there was a woman in charge of this place or somehow, but I, uh, I just feel like this is somebody that cares about money. The physical security. And with that devil there, mm-hmm. I feel like this is making money off the public that have issues. Now, this is all alleged for entertainment purposes only. This is a card reading and an entertainment channel, so I may not be correct, but that's the vibe I'm getting from him. It's like I want to take There was a delay, a postponement, and there's an, again, there's something that needed to be looked at in a different way. And, you know, his family, like I said, I read that his family, um, they didn't know, apparently, uh, un un until m months afterward, that it wasn't his heart. Um, uh, an aortic aneurysm, that it was actually sepsis due to diverticulitis. Now the four is about, you know, supposed to be about stability and balance and protection, you know, security. But I'm feeling here that there's somebody that may have been a, more focused on I just hope that they were as focused on the physical health as well as money. But he's definitely indicating with the hanged one, this is I think also the delay 
and getting him treatment um, that he should have gotten. Was that his choice? I don't know. I feel like he's feeling he felt overwhelmed, though. Why? You know, I still was like, why wasn't somebody checking on you? Why did they delay? Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. I get a feeling of two women. I wonder what the name of the place was that he went to. I wonder what it's... I have a feeling it might have some issues there, but... There's dealing with an issue from, he's showing me an issue that cropped up from the past that bring up a lot of, a lot of um, feelings from the past that I feel like made him feel insecure with, with the public um, or his position in the public. And we certainly know that that he had to drink quite a bit, apparently, to deal with his stage fright. And these could be sisters as well that tried to help him. I know that he had family member that family members that inter had an intervention for him at some point. Um, and for some reason. I think he had to, probably because of finding a place that, that can take you and, and it's not always so easy, these places, they cost a lot of money. Um, yeah. Hermit. Yeah, I think this is like intervention of, of family. He's talking about that. Trying to get him, um, I, I believe, stabilized. And these two females feel like sisters. Because we also get the Six of Cups here. Yeah, I think this is, he's talking about the inter, an intervention. And, and siblings, especially. That he was saying, you know, he was becoming um, just completely captive to substance. And the effects that was having on him was really seriously making him ill. And we know that because, you know, the, if you've read anything about him in the past, you know that, you know, he had to go and had a break, he had a breakdown. You know, his family had to intervene and, and have him. He wasn't too happy with them initially. So I think he is indicating there. But what he's saying is, energetically I think dealing with anxiety and for a long time and in particularly around I, I feel like adolescence particularly like 12, 11, 12 um, is coming to mind that he's bringing up to me 
and yeah so he now I believe is he's showing me here a sister as well I know he's had at unfortunately two sisters pass um, one uh, most recently she passed in in um, I think just this year She's very beautiful. And her last name, when she got, I can't, I'm blanking on her first name for some reason. It may have been, it, well, her last name, her, her last name um, was Rowan after she got married. Um, so I feel like he's definitely talking about intervention here to stabilize him, be more secure, his siblings. There could have been an issue with the place. Again, I feel like a lot of these places, it's all about money. And I do think he was neglected. Because why else? There is a delay in his, definitely, in him being treated. Definitely like this he's saying this that needed to be looked at with the closer from a different perspective why the delay because I've I feel like that delay, you know, this was something that he could have survived and been treated for. But it does make me feel like he had siblings or, and, and may still have a, a sister that has been, you know, looking into his how he passed, you know, with the end card. Because he was alone. I'm getting he was too much. They don't understand why he was alone. because he shouldn't have been alone, this alone. So there's something about, I'm getting him saying, that delay, he's not, ha he, that angered him actually, because he was wanting to get to work. And I do think that a ball was dropped here a delay here that that ended up being a the problem I just think they didn't take it that's quite that seriously with with 
the Princess of Cups, I just feel like they were more focused, you know, on, and they may have been even telling, for, for all I know, they may have been saying, it's just you, um, you know, still getting over the effects or whatever. I don't, th I think that they just kind of thought, well, he's, he's done here, I, you know, finishing out, maybe they just didn't, they didn't give him the same amount of attention that he should have had. Definitely, I see delay, and I see a big question mark of that was not good. And a focus, there is the focus on security and on, and on being able to get out in public and be well enough, but, and I feel like his family intervening, but I also feel like there was some issue with the place. All those places are about money. So let's just run this up. And, you know, he, he, I feel like there was a female around him, this page, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. She keeps coming up again and again. I've had to do a few readings because I wasn't sure. Um, but I keep getting her. Someone from his past, could be a sibling, I believe it's his sister. that died more recently, that she's, that she's, um, join them. Completed her journey. I think Peter came in to get her. I do. Now here's the fool. And this can be about risks. I wonder, I, I feel like his, at least one sister may have been really looking into this place and seeing if they were just um, careless, reckless, negligent. And trying to, it feels like to me like she's saying they were trying to get him out of there. That's all they, you, you know, get the money and get him out, get the next person, you know. They may have not been on as on top of things with him as they should have been. Yeah. Again, being alone and not being well with that five of pentacles, the fool. This is dangerous uh, without people, without it being realized. He didn't realize it. Um, I think it, it came quickly. Uh-huh. Look, Ten of Swords. Okay, he's telling me, and then that's the world up there. He's talking about being alone, being ill, and it was just too much for his body. And that, you know, the heart, you know, they, they pr did say it was an issue with the heart, but I wonder, there's just so many things that I don't think we've got the full story.
Yeah, I, I, I feel like that Ten of Swords is showing me um, the infection spreading. Um, I'm getting that from it, and it, it being, it, he could, you know, a body that he wouldn't be able to continue on in, obviously. But I get that he was alone. Why was he alone? There's, there's such a focus on he was really alone. And he didn't feel good. And I think he... I don't think he felt supported there entirely. There's something about that, with that place. Because he's just... There's no sense of, oh, there's people here that are guiding me and I feel, you know, uh, helped. There's a sense of um, being ill, being alone, thinking back to childhood, but also that this was something that was missed, I think, in the past. They missed checking in on him. And I know that there was a sister that was really suspicious of the care or why, it, again, why it happened the way it did. Let's get that third line in, see what he wants to say here, too. My goodness, all the redheads. Um, I was able to, I think, find that his mother has a July birthday. It would make sense to me that um, his mother would come and get him, or definitely be waiting for him. Uh huh. High priestess. And I. This is. I, there, there was also, I think, a secret there. Something that was not... Their foolishness and, and I think, their lack of proper protocol. And caring for him. making sure that he was like all the way well, taking his temperature, you know. Um, it's just like, what was going on in that place? Ten of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. It's more of a... How, it, it, how things look on the outside, how they want wanted it to to appear. I believe there was negligence. By those that were meant to keep an eye on him. He was alone. He should not have been alone. Um, I think this is their attempt to try to keep that secret for a while. I believe that I'm shown yeah, that his mother came for him and brought him to the rest of the family and his transitioning. And we look down this row, and he goes from being ill and trying to find answers and, and to get better, but he's alone. 
and then he go then we see a card of that is very you know pretty dark here and then it's bright and it's a card of of happiness of family and and um, being with family being connected where he wasn't here and he was so alone he's saying I see two women. I think, again, one is his mom and one could be a sister again. Now he's bringing up the people who are with him and around him and what was going on. I really appreciate that. This really makes oh, so much sense in a way and in other ways I know I'm not completely getting everything. A lot of times I'll look at it later and I'll go, oh, that's what that meant. So he's talking that, that there there was something, there was some kind of neglect there. Again, this is all alleged, entertainment purposes only, but that's what I see in the cards. And I feel like his mother came to get him. that she was waiting, you know, waiting there for him, with him. I think he was so sick he wasn't sure whether, um, I think he was having a lot of, just this is just what's coming to me, uh, that he's having a lot of dreams and um, you know how when you're sick really sick sometimes you can have really crazy dreams or intense things I think he was having some some intuitive uh, things happening with him but I don't think he completely understood or was completely clear on it because he was ill and a little confused You know, like, is this a dream or is, you know. The Hierophant. Something being exposed. I think the fact that he didn't die from what they said that he did. This is about this. This could be a doctor being exposed. There could be a woman also as well that might know some secrets here about somebody that was involved in that. It could be a sister of, you know his that finds out something. I'm not sure. This definitely is Peter. And it's interesting. He gets the Three of Wands here and the Three of Cups. I feel like this usually is like can also be like a teacher or somebody that's relaying information or the rules often to me it can be a doctor or a specialist um, in their field I don't know if there was a female doctor in there anywhere. How this works out, who may have caught 
um, that it wasn't what it appeared to be or was said to be his passing because he's he is indicating yeah there was there was some dodgy stuff going on there and that he was happy I feel like that this was exposed I don't know if they had another specialist that took a look at it and thought no that's not right and clarified and didn't like the fact that this looked like maybe something was being kept on the on the down low but I feel like this, this is definitely an indication that his sisters found out later that there was clarity on how he actually passed. Now here we have the Three of Cups and I think that it bothered them greatly that they didn't know the correct truth and that he had been alone. Maybe they didn't, I don't know if they um, didn't want to tell him, tell his family that or whatever, but he's just glad is what I get to with that Three of Cups that this has been exposed. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pause there.